So today I want to present you with a very quick tutorial that enabled me to simplify the level of detail of uh, families with a higher degree of uh, information. On the screen you have a representation of a plotter that has a lot of detail. And maybe this degree of detail is appropriate for visualization deliverables. But sometimes uh, this uh, type of detail only increases the file size, is not needed for our production. And design teams are given the task to simplify existing families by tracing them over with uh, simplified geometrical forms. And uh, I'm going to use Dynamo to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is to launch Dynamo. And I'm using Dynamo 1.0 on Revit 2016. And in order for this to work, you need to download two packages. One is uh, Spring Nodes. And the other is Rhythm, so you can find them in the Download Package and Manager. And uh, before I get started with Dynamo script, I'm going to make sure I make a selection of all the geometrical forms that I have on my current screen. And I'm going to call this All Geometry. And the reason I'm doing this is that I'm going to come back and clean my family when I'm done using this uh, selection. So I'll start a new Dynamo script. I'm going to switch this to manual and I'll start by dropping into the Dynamo view this node from the rhythm package called pick geometry. I think it's under Revit selection pick model geometry. And what I really like about this node is the ability to go into the Revit space and select elements by picking them with the cursor. It has a input called a refresh, which is simply a boolean that enables me to refresh the data inside the uh, node in case I need to rerun the definition. So uh, this is not possible out of the box. Uh, that's what I like it. Out of the box, you are given just uh, two modes of selecting objects in a Revit space. One is single element, and another is multiple elements, but you will have to create a window selection. And sometimes that window crossing selection is not what you need, and you need to start uh, freezing objects in order to get your right selection in place. But with this, you have this ability to be more selective about what you want to bring into the Dynamo space. Now, I'm going to then... Uh, convert this uh, selected set of elements into a geometrical form that it's simplified. So in Dynamo there is this node called bounding box. And what this does is uh, detect the outermost boundary of G, G, element geometry and convert it into a very simple rectangular box that is aligned with the Dynamo uh, coordinate system. The next step is to convert this bounding, board, the bounding box into a solid and uh, the command, the node that I use is this cool void uh, which basically converts the pick selected bounded box into Dynamo solids and uh, after this, I have to convert this Dynamo Solid into Revit objects. And uh, I want to use for that this uh, node from the Spring Node packet uh, called uh, Form by Geometry. And what I love about this node is this ability to convert any dynamo geometry into forms, extrusions that live inside the family editor. The form by geometry has an input that is a boolean that enables me to confirm whether the resulted geometry is either a void or a solid. And uh, the result geometry is the it's just a simplified box. So let me go and run this manually. So uh, I'm going to run the definition 
and you're going to see that in the background I have a multi selection activation. You can see it right here. Uh, I believe in the latest version of uh, Rhythm. You have this ability to do the selection and then click Escape. Uh, I'm not sure I have the latest one in my personal machine. But what I need to do here is to select the geometries in the uh, family editor that I want to convert into simplified boxes. So I'm going to select one of the feet, another one. Notice when I have that plus sign, it means that that selection is going to be made part of that conversion. Now I have three, four elements. I click finish the selection. And notice how everything got converted into simplified boxes by selecting that. So now, uh, I mean, the last step is actually to load the selection. I have this whole geometry. I think that's the one I want. And then I delete it. And I am left with uh, just the forms in a simplified condition. And I didn't spend a lot of time creating this. Um, this could be my level 100, level 200 family, and it's a straight off of all that extra information that is not required by uh, the project. All right, I hope this helps. Thank you.